Hello everyone, this is Heather Moorfield Lang and welcome to my YouTube channel, Tech15. And today I'm going to be talking to you about ThingLink. ThingLink is an awesome interactive photo tool that allows you to embed videos, images, links, whatever you want into photos. So let's get started. I'm going to show you how to use it today. First thing you're going to want to do is go over here to the upper right hand corner and log in. If you have not logged in or if you have not created an account, you want to go right here to where it says on the right side of the screen, start now. I'm going to log in because I already have an account. You can log in with Facebook, you can log in with Twitter, or you can log in with Google+. I already have an account just with my email and it will take me to my opening screen. Up top, you can see that you can search for images if you'd like to see other people's thing links. You can do a stream. You can look at your account. You can look at stats for those people who have actually uh, looked at your photos. You can browse your information. You can send this to students because there is a thing link education where your students can create images and you can keep them in as a class, and that's great. Um, or you can also create a thing link premium. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create and I'm going to show you how to embed information into an image. So I'm going to create a picture and I am going to upload an image. I'm going to choose one where I can choose, drag and drop right here. I have one on my desktop. And I have one that is of me on Route 66, just for fun. And that's the image I'm going to be using. And I can call this Heather on Route 66. So here I am. So if I want to click to add a tag, all you do is you click in this section. And if I want to edit a tag, a tag is anything that you are going to embed in the picture. So you can put in text, you can put in icons, you can also put in images, addresses, and links. So let's say for instance, I wanted to give some historic information. These are some uh, websites that I have already pulled up previously about the Mother Road, Route 66. So I can add this link in, and I'm just gonna copy and paste, and I will save the tag. And if I wanted to put an image right over my face, actually I'll probably move that over just a little bit here at my elbow. Here I am about to start my trip because I actually did a trip across the United States on Route 66. And then I have that as well. And then maybe here on the road, I'm going to embed a drive lapse of Route 66, the entire over 2,000 miles of Route 66. And I will embed that as well and I will save that tag. I could put as many pieces of information in here as I wish, and then once I am done, I can save it. And now my image is complete. And at this point, anything that I click on, this is Historic Route 66, here's my text message that I had put in the picture. Not only can people look at my picture, I now have an image that is completely full of information. I have information embedded. This is not just a still picture anymore. This is picture with information embedded into it. Folks can look at videos. They can look at links. They can look at info. I can fill this in with all sorts of information. And if you think of your students, they could have a thing link digital online wall of themselves. They could have a photo gallery. They could have a digital art gallery. You could have a digital timeline. You could find uh, oral histories. Uh, pretty much you're only limited by your imagination with this one. Um, and so there's a lot of things that you can do with thing link. Thing link is available online. It is also available via app. Uh, the app for ThingLink, I swear, is actually a little bit easier to use with um, your devices, such as your iPads, your iPhones, and Android devices, because with that one, you snap the picture, you tap on the screen where you want to embed your information, and you embed. It is so simple. So this is ThingLink, a great photo tool. Thoroughly enjoy it. Hope you like it. Please let me know if you have any questions, and stay tuned to Tech15. I will have more tech tools coming up for you soon.